because it has the quality of life additions of SE2 associated. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is quite different as well, though. Like, qu quite a bit of it has changed. So you've got to remember that it is a little bit different. I think he was Terran, guys. I wasn't paying attention. I really got to, like, I got to up my, my, my start game screen. My start screen uh, game. Got to, like, really focus on that. Hey. Good luck. Have fun. Terran, right? Australia. I'm human. We're just throwing out the random random RTS references here, apparently. This is, this is what we're doing. Soviet scum. <laughs> That was a lifetime ago. That was a long time ago. Yeah, there's a lot more protracted one base all ends. Um, I do love certain things Legacy of the Void's done, like, so much. But, um, and part of me, like, doesn't miss those all ends, and part of me does. It's, it's weird. I'm, I'm constantly torn, guys. I'm constantly torn. This overlord is just going to chill out front my natural. Make sure there's no bunker rushes. So I'm going to go 13 hatch. Uh, 13 hatch, 12 cool. Generally, you want to just take all your structures uh, around the same time. Somewhere, somewhere around 12, 12, 13 supply is, is what I've kind of figured out from Twitch chat giving me advice and a, a few other things. Um, I guess I can build one more drone and then just build the... Why is that not building? There we go. Yeah. Build the spawning pool and gas both around the same time. So uh, it looks like he's spawned cross map for me. So this is checking for bunker rushes. This overlord out front my natural. This overlord in bottom left is going to work his way up. Try and get some vision. Now I've got to remember to get that overlord. Oh, and that is going to be two barracks. Okay. Very common. No gas. I got four Zerglings on the way. I've got Ling Speed on the way. Um, yep, yeah, 11 drones on the main. About uh, 10, 11 drones is usually all I want on my main at first. Until I've saturated my natural. Uh, and then I can oversaturate my main later when I'm on free base. But for now, just having one dude per patch is like. That's the dream. So anyway, uh, I'm gonna build more Zerglings now. Um, ooh, yeah, get him. Love to squeeze in the third hatch. We'll have to see how we go. This overlord here is going to be trying to get some vision on that natural. So this time we're going to have plenty of Zergans to counterattack his, uh, his one base move out when it happens. So I think this should be plenty. There we go. Yeah, I've got like 11 Zerglings. Um, I've even got more in the way, which is more than I need. So I've committed to this quite early. Um, I do want to go up to Lurkers as well, just because, hey, you're in one base, man. What are you going to do? Now we're going to put one more Zergling in the middle of the map. So if he kills my first one, I've still got another. And then I've got 12 Zerglings up here. Um, and there we go. 
So now it's just back to droning. I've got this overlord going down here to the bottom area to spot like drops or anything like that. Pretty rare for the Terran to get something like Wraiths that can actually clear up overlords on the map. So you don't really need to worry too much about that stuff. Um, now, um, similar to the previous map, Let's get a um, extra couple of sunkins, but I'm rushing towards those lurkers. Because he's still on one base, so. Yeah. This time with the Zerglings to counterattack and buy time, though, I feel a bit more comfortable. Zergans are going to counterattack right now. More and more Sunkins going down. And he gets wrecked. So let's go get the mineral line. He's going to lose so many SCVs. And we've got five spines at home. So this is it. You know, if someone just commits this one, this one base, this little flexibility. All right, let's get these guys across the map. Lurkadem's on the way. Uh, I do need to build more drones because you can see my mining is kind of shit right now. Zerg units, thankfully, are exceptionally cheap. So, um, yeah. Okay, he's gonna try and rebuild. I am fine with that. I can tell you that much. So we're gonna have lurkers out. Um, I am gonna go for my third base down here. I'll do a lurker push as well um, at some point, but for the moment, let's just keep getting further ahead. So saturate my main a little bit more as I have been using up dudes. He's moving out, which means I'm gonna move in. Zerglings are going to run in again. Easy peasy. And he's left the game. His name is Goggle My Sack. He went for a one base, three Rex Marine Medical, and Wall of Spine, Zergling Counterattack. You know, super easy, but at the same time, if I didn't go for these little moves, if you don't do things like that, things can be kind of hard, like we saw in that last map. So, yeah, I, uh, I like it. I, I really like the way there's so much counter-attacking and unit movement, and even though I'm constantly, like, not macroing nearly as well as I could be, I'm always able to kind of just do different maneuvers, and they're always very important, and it always gives you a bit more time to do them in, uh, in StarCraft 1. It's really cool. It's very, very cool.